Hi Taurus, welcome to your weekly reading for February 16th to the 23rd. I am Charlene Lizette and this is Raven, Raven, look me now. Say hi. Uh, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you're returning, a massive thank you to you for being a part of our high vibe community. As always, I do need to give gratitude and adoration to my great queen, the Morgan, to whom all my work is devoted to. All right, are you leaving or are you staying? Hmm. She's decided to go bother her sister because her sister's eating. They've been a rambunctious bunch, those three today. All right, let's take a look and see what's going on for you, Taurus. Taurus. Oi, that's too many. Can we just, can you do it nicely, please? I don't like when it falls off like that. Let me know if the heater's making a lot of noise. I have it in a different spot. It's like super cold in the office right now. King of Cups, Seven of Cups, lots of emotions. Yeah, look, the Five of Cups, the Page of Swords. You're looking at a situation unfold here for you. Yeah. A lot of communication, a lot of conversation. You might feel very mentally overstimulated. One, two, three, four, five, six. You may feel very mentally overstimulated this week, okay? Yeah, it's really important for you to practice grounding yourself, all right? Very, very important. What I will say is I do love this Ace of Pentacles and this Nine of Pentacles. While there may be some emotional turmoil um, in periods and points during this week, overall, if you continue to stay grounded, if you focus on like what's tangible, what's important, what you can control, what matters to you, um, you know, for some of you, your career, your school, your business, your finances, if you keep your eye and, and your focus on that, the, the things that um, may feel like an emotional whirlwind um, will come and go and then they will pass because it's like you'll understand that you have to deal with those emotions you'll understand i just saw two 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 as i looked up so maybe for some of your relationship you'll understand that you have to um, just embrace these things as they are um but that at the end of the day if you continue to focus on your independence your financial stability your money um being rooted, being grounded, being very focused in the things that are tangible, you're going to be just fine, okay? Everything will work out just fine. You know, not every week can be an easy week, and I think this is a week that's teaching you a lot about your emotions, okay? Um, I, I gotta I gotta tell you, I feel like you, your emotions are all over the place this week. One day you're going to be good, one day you're going to be hard, like it feels very much like that. Uh, with the Page of Swords and the Knight of Swords, I would be very careful how I'm communicating with people, okay? I would be very cautious about um, not, not like losing your cool. You know, Taurus is a very patient sign until they're not patient. Uh, and that's what I'm seeing here. It's like the, your patience has run thin. Uh, you're, you've peaked. There's no more patience left inside of you. Um, somebody may trigger you or you may feel triggered by what somebody says. I don't think that it's necessarily the nicest thing. It's almost like they're instigating you and you might want to react so badly. But I think if you react, not only will you feel regret and remorse, but you'll also feel very disappointed in yourself because I almost get this energy that this particular person that's going to try and get under your skin is somebody who tries to get under your skin often. Um, and somebody who kind of like gets off on getting under your skin, I know that sounds awful and doesn't sound nice, but this energy just to me feels like somebody who likes to be a shit talker or a shit disturber or to make comments that impact below the belt. You know, this energy seems very insecure to me, um, even a little bit unstable. And I think that you know that this person is a trigger for you and you kind of could let them get the best of you this week. So this, these two cards here, what they're telling me is that, it, or sorry, these three cards are telling me that it's really important for you to not look at the fact that like, you know, maybe you do 
fall into their trap of emotional manipulation or gains. And if you don't, you're like, why is this continuing to happen to me? And it's very important for you to kind of turn the perspective onto these two cups that are standing and also look at the options that you have available because see how the King of Cups looks across this and the King of Cups is actually looking across this whole experience. So the King of Cups is a very balanced, emotional uh, person who uh, has a lot of feelings, is very loving, very caring, but doesn't let their emotions run wild. And so you have a choice this week. Do you allow this person to impact your emotions? Do you allow them to infiltrate you? Do you allow them, do you give them the space to like hurt you and, um, you know, infiltrate your boundaries? Or do you turn around and go, I'm, I'm not playing this game. I'm not subscribing to this nonsense. I'm not here for this kind of energy. Uh, I don't want any of this. So I'm not going to be privy to it or party to it, right? It's like, it's almost like super important for you at this time to ask yourself, that question, right? Like ask, ask yourself if your peace of mind is more important than needing to get into um, this ego tango with this person. Cause that's what I'm feeling like. I'm feeling like this person wants to drag you into the bullshit. They, they seem very um, low vibrational, very toxic, uh, very, un very unhealthy. Um, so don't fall for it, okay? No matter how tempted you are. You got the Six of Cups and the Ace of, sorry, the Six of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups with your romance cards. So I'm feeling like a lot of emotional romance this, um, this week. You may feel a little bit torn. Yeah, but okay, I love this. You may feel a little bit torn as to whether or not, um, You want to spend time alone or you want to be with your partner if you're in a relationship or if somebody um, gives you an offer, it's like, do I spend time alone or do I entertain their offer? There's kind of, there, there, there is a little bit of that like, I don't know which way to go. With the six of pentacles, the woman in this imagery here is very much fulfilling herself and then a, a, a man tries to come and make an offer regardless of whatever sex you are. It's like your feminine energy desires some self-pleasure, some self some self-healing potentially with the healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. But then there's also like you, you want lust, you desire love, you desire passion. And so you may feel, look, and then you got flirt. You may feel like, what do I focus on? Do I focus on myself? Do I flirt? What do I do? What do I do? I would really um, encourage you to ask yourself, what's more important to me here? Um, is it more important for me to get this quick emotional fulfillment, maybe like a one night stand or something like that? Or is it more important for me to focus on long term what I desire, right? Do you desire something that's long term or do you desire a quickie? And whatever it is that you are desiring here, uh, if you're single, it's fine, right? Like if you want a quickie, go for it. But just then understand that like it's a quickie. It's a one night stand, right? It's not something that's going to lead to long term. This week very much is asking you to focus on healing yourself, right? Maybe not falling prey or, or falling into the trap of this toxicity here. Um, and also to just extend your lighthearted energy to others. So remembering the joy, the happiness, the passion of what it feels like to be grounded, deep rooted and in your energetic frequency. All right, Taurus, that is your weekly reading. If you are interested in a private or live or pre-recorded service, take a look at the description box below. If you would like to purchase my gemstone healing jewelry line, your modern day amulets, go check out Starseed Jewels, all right? I have, and I'm wearing um, Malojo, Bastet, and on this wrist I have Pleiades, and I have a Venus, all right? There's tons of unisex bracelets in the description box below in the link, uh, and they're 20% off right now. I'm having a sale. Let me know what you thought of this in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you for your likes, your comments, your shares, your subscribes, and thank you so much for allowing me to be of service to you. We'll see you later, alligator. Peace out. Bye.